where in the United States, 288,000 women were diagnosed with breast cancer. But in 2013, mastectomies are still the most effective weapon in controlling this disease and prolonging life. Now, breast reconstruction surgery can restore a woman to her former beauty and femininity, but you know what, some women can't tolerate breast implants. So here today to discuss an alternative procedure, which uses your own stem cell, is that correct? Uh, is the expert in the field of plastic surgery. Would you please welcome back to the show, I love him, Gary Modicky, Dr. G. <laughs> it's so fun to have you here. So how are how are stem cells and and it's blood stem cell, right? Actually, no. What we're talking about here are what are called fat derived stem cells. Okay. Fat stem mm -hmm. cells. Which is actually a good thing, right? It's a twofer because what we're looking for. Well, is no, it's fat. It's not your twofer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's a different twofer. <laughs> Got it. What it means is we can remove fat and use those stem cells so you lose weight and you're using the stem cells for other things. Oh, sign me up. Yeah. No, seriously. Seriously. In a way that... Way so that, you pull fat from some part of your body? Correct. It's just like liposuction. The, the thing about it is, is that when we're... When we're we, people don't realize this, but our fat cells actually are like the supermarkets of stem cells. They have a lot of stem cells packed inside with them. Really? Mm -hmm. And they're called adult or, or adipose drive stem cells, and they're actually a lot more in there than in the bone marrow sometimes, all right? But they're really? used for different things. They're the way that I try to explain this is they're a little bit more differentiated, so they can only turn into certain things like other fat cells. They can't make neurons or other cells, but they can make other fat cells. And uh, if you don't know what a stem cell is, it's kind of, I call them the superheroes of the body. They can live forever, they're immortal, and they can change into any other cell type. So there really is a So they think. Cell. So well, wait a minute, you can take it off your butt and put it in your cheek and you can be a butt face. You, you could do that, I guess. <laughs> That's basically the idea behind it. You can take it and reconstruct any other body part. So what we do with these stem cells, we remove, remove the fat, we purify it, we separate the stem cells, and we separate the fat. The reason we do that is to get the stem cells and then activate them. Because they're kind of like seeds. Without water or without soil, they won't activate. We activate them put them back with the fat, and then inject them to whatever we're trying to reconstruct. And you can do that with breast, uh, like, reconstruction? Right, and breast, I don't know if people, most people know, but it's mostly made of fat. Our, the breast tissue is almost 75% fat. That's P-H-A-T. Well, depending. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One or the other. But uh, <laughs> as you inject it back into there, what it does is then those fat cells are telling the stem cells, hey, turn into fat and turn into breast tissue. And so then when we can re that reconstruct the entire breast crazy. that way. That is crazy. Right. Do you think that it will eventually replace implants? Well, the thing about it, there's two things you have to be careful. Who's injecting it? Because it they're very fragile cells when okay. you take them out of the body. So, and you can only increase one cup size. So okay. if you're doing, say, an augmentation, which you can use it for, we'll go up a cup size or a reconstruction. But if you want to need a bigger size than that, you're still dealing with implants at this point in time. Okay. But, I mean, that's just crazy. Technology's getting crazy. It seems like we're doing this today. This is not something that's happening in outer space. We're doing these procedures today, and we're able to take those fat cells and stem cells and create breast tissue with it. So you don't have to... Anybody can do this, right? You don't have to be somebody famous with a lot of... Is it expensive? It's not expensive. It actually costs probably a little bit less than a breast augmentation. Because we're not paying for implants. We're not paying for other things. Wow. And the thing you have to be a little bit careful with with this is it's still a little bit experimental stage for breast cancer because we're dealing with cancer cells. You want to be careful not to do stimulate they, those. Do they grow equally? They, well, what you're doing is putting the same volume of fat. So you want to put the I'm same... I'm asking! Well, you want... What you, <laughs> You want to put the same volume in both sides, right? So you're going to put a symmetrical amount of volume in both breasts so that they, they both have the same size volume. Okay, so you brought somebody with you. Right, so what we can do with this, by the way, now today is for other things. Say women don't want implants anymore. You want to change out your implants. Or they're having uh, a disease where maybe their bodies are having an inflammatory reaction and they, they can't have the implants because their bodies are forming contraction around the implants or just causing them pain. Right. And we literally take like the implants Like mastitis out. and those types of things? Right, okay. or say fibromyalgia is one thing. Oh, where, yeah, that's Where there's an right. inflammatory condition in the body where there's... People, any target, even a sliver, little things can set off pain. And these women that have implants, they don't have other alternatives than the implants. Now they do. You can switch it out for That's background. That's fantastic. Thing. So you brought Jan, is that right? So and let's I, go meet and Jan. And I brought Jan, and she's an actual patient that went through the procedure. You are so cool to be here. Um, so it's nice to be here, actually. <laughs> you originally had implants, is that correct? Yes. And, and so what happened? I had them about 2006. Uh, Dr. Montague was, was my surgeon, and I didn't have any problems at breast implant wise but about a year later I started having um, some symptoms fibromyalgia related and now it's I have really painful isn't it yes yeah it's uh, chronic fatigue and all-over body weakness as fibromyalgia <gasps> so 
I don't believe that the breast implant caused the fibromyalgia, but some people react that way from having a foreign body put in your system. Right, well that would make sense. So yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily a cause though, they can't it's, prove that it's a cause. It's like a trigger that they call, exactly. or different things may exacerbate the symptoms. So your body might just be so healthy it's fighting it off some way, right? Exactly. It's just rejecting it. So now, you're, have you done this surgery? I just did about three weeks ago. Yes. It's about three wow. weeks after surgery. Yeah. So we did, we borrowed a little fat from somewhere else. I told him to take extra, but yeah. <laughs> Take a little extra, yeah. Dr. G. <laughs> Good with that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe someday that in the future so cool. you'll be able to donate, like blood donating. We haven't, don't have that I yet, tried to get him to do that. She wanted me to donate <laughs> fat. Okay, so <laughs> can I just, can I be bold? So does it show right away, or do you just start to, like, Yes, yeah, because remember, we're not that what we're putting back in is with the fat itself. So immediately you're replacing the volume. So in other words, when women used to take out their implants, they'd be left almost flat. You know, right. they wouldn't have a lot of breast tissue. But since we're replacing immediately with the fat, they already have breasts to start out with right when they wake up. So, so how do you, how do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. I mean, I you know I still have pain from fibromyalgia, but uh -huh. regarding surgery, I, um, I'm doing well. I mean, I'm black and blue and swollen on the back of my legs. From but where it's the only from where? Oh, so yes. you took it out with lipo? Right, legs. we liposuction out the areas we want, either from the waist or the legs, and we put it back in the breast. Now the breast part doesn't hurt very much. It's almost almost painless. I'm good. Can I ask? Do you, does it look good? It looks good. Actually. Can you show us? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the producer's like, she's not really going to show us. <laughs> Daisy, so what else, this is fascinating to me, but what else can stem cells be well, used for? There's, it, just like that, they can be used for rejuvenation, right? So there's some things um, I'm going to show you here that okay. we can do with it. And what we can do is actually rejuvenate the face, sort of by uh, taking those stem cells and the fatty tissue and rejuvenating. Here you're going to see a person we put under her eyes and into her cheeks. And if they show the next picture, you're going to see how she looks <gasps> afterwards, all right? Wow. And this is several months, or, you know, it lasts once you put the fat in, it's living. Oh, I okay? see where there's like a divot under the, because you mm -hmm. lose fat there over well, time, show don't you, you? I'm going to show you one where there's going to show you a big difference, okay? Now you can also combine it with a facelift, okay? Now this is here before, and now we're going to combine the stem cells and fat grafting with a facelift. Shut okay? up. Yeah. So this is a way of making it look very natural, and you're using your own fat. And remember, fat's living tissue, so it's going to help heal her skin from the inside out, just make her look better, and also look younger. You know what I love about him? He won't take anybody unless they're healthy, right? That's correct. So you have to really love yourself from the inside out, and then he helps the outside feel as good as the inside, right? Health before beauty. Health before beauty. Look good, feel good. That's crazy. You know what? He rocks, doesn't he? And this is stuff that has been quiet, and like celebrities and rich people hear all this stuff. Everybody should hear this, don't you think? All right, so for more information on Dr. Modicky and stem cell therapy, right? Right. Uh, you can log on to our website, and we will give you Dr. G's information. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you Pleasure. so much for thank sharing you. your story. Seriously. Uh, uh, we'll be right back. That's